Hey everyone, Five Farley here, August 17th, coming off another win on the Daily Best Bets. I got another Daily Best Bet for you today uh, in a great slate of games. We got one in particular that I'm going to break down. All the rest will be on patreon.com slash Five Farley. It's a good day to be on patreon.com slash Five Farley. That's hard to say. Good day to be over there because today is a great slate. I have the games circled. I like these games a lot. Good lines, good value. So those will be posted on Patreon. NBA playoffs tipping off. Those games are already posted over there on patreon.com slash Farley. So check those out. There's one left that I'm continuing to watch uh, and look at. Uh, we'll see if it ends up coming to a play uh, by the time we get to tip off. But uh, as of right now, two plays over there in the NBA. You can get those on the top two tiers as well as uh, baseball uh, up and down the line. Each play posted uh, in each one of the tiers. So uh, check that out. All right. Uh, coming off a win yesterday, great win with the Dodgers. It was right in the middle of the fairway, went just as as planned. Um, matter of fact, could have been a sweep of the board, ended up winning with the Brewers, ended up winning with the Braves. The only loss, frustratingly so, was the underdog Blue Jays in Game 2. Nice 5-3 uh, lead going into the last inning, the abbreviated seventh inning, and uh, uh, Blue Jays blew the game. So, uh, oh, the Blue Jays blew the game, um, ended up losing an extras uh, 6-5. So Shoemaker, who was undefeated against those uh, Devil Rays, will remain uh, with an undefeated record. But unfortunately, Blue Jays don't walk away with the win victory, and I don't walk away with the cash, and I don't walk away with the sweep. So 3-1 uh, and one yesterday, and moving on to today. Like I said, great slate today. Let's get to the best bet. Okay, here I think we just have a really good spot situationally. Um, pitcher wise, uh, offense wise, um, I do have a little bit of concerns I'll talk about, but in general, I just think we have a great spot to cash a ticket. Um, and I'm not going to play safe to protect a record. I do not care about that. I tell you what I play. And so, um, and, and the goal is to make money and to share with you how uh, I've been doing this for 20 years. Scratch that. What I've learned over the 20 years, because uh, I, what I do now is not nearly what I started with 20 years ago when I was capping games. Um, okay, so in Atlanta, we got Atlanta hosting the Nationals. We have two teams out of the NL East uh, duking it out here. Nationals 8-11, and 11, Atlanta 13-10, and 10, starting to turn it on a little bit. Um, just coming off a, uh, a pretty tough series uh, are the, uh, well, the... The uh, Braves work out of uh, New York and then to Miami, and now they're coming back home. Now keep in mind, they are 7-2 and two at home, a nice home field advantage for the Braves. Uh, when they play at home, uh, very tough to beat in those nine games. They're a plus 19 run differential. Uh, so uh, not only are they a good team to back when they're uh, back in Atlanta, but when you can find value, it's a great one to jump on. Nationals are going to be throwing uh, um, um, uh, Annabelle Sanchez up on the mound um, uh, to Saints going for the Braves. Let's talk a little bit about him first. Um, to Saint just came off a really rough outing against New York, but at home he's been he's been solid. He's gone ten and two thirds at home, only given up seven hits, three earned runs off a home run in Tor or against Toronto. Um, so his home ERA is actually just 2.53. His his whip is a .94. He's had good control, and he's done well in Atlanta, which backs the uh, narrative here, which uh, the Braves are going to be a great spot to back at, at home. Uh, currently, uh, the line opened up at about a 135, has moved all the way up to about a minus 160, but I'm going to be taking a uh, run line here, as we'll see uh, when we break down the numbers. Um Atlanta at home is a great run line team to take. So against the Nationals lineup, there's a few areas to be concerned about. Adam Eaton has had some success against him, um, and, and so is Juan Soto, who's on fire right now. So we do need to be concerned about that. Um, Castro is going to be sitting today. He's uh, injured, so he's out of the lineup. And same thing you know, goes with the Braves. Um, they're injured, so uh, some of their offensive firepower will be sitting. However, I don't foresee that being an issue overall uh, going against Sanchez, who has just struggled out of the gates. When you read the interviews with the Nationals, you can tell it's not just um, a bad game. He's, he's having a really hard time locating his pitches 
and that's causing him to get shelled. And and when I mean shelled, I mean he's gone 13 innings and given up 22 hits. It's not even close. A 2.15 whip. You cannot survive in the bigs with a 361 opponent batting average and a 9.69 ERA, which is where Sanchez is at right now. That is very unusual for him. He should start to get it back into place, but this is a bad spot for him against the Braves. Now, he has had some success. He used to pitch for the Braves. Pitching against them last year, he had five starts. He was 3-0 in 2019, so he has had some success, but this is not the same Sanchez uh, coming in this year. He's also had success against the Mets, yet he just went two and two-thirds, six hits, five runs, one home run, and two walks in those two innings. So he's, you know, I, I feel like we have a Sanchez who is uh, struggling to find his location, as he admits, and through coaching and himself, they are yet to find the solution to that, and now he's walking into a hostile environment um, in Atlanta. One other thing I'm going to mention uh, is the uh, the Nationals this year, um, Nationals this year went on the road. If they lose, they lose big. Um, every one of their games has been by two or more runs, except for the first one of the year, which was against the uh, Yankees. Scratch that second game of the year. Uh, so as we go on through, you know, in their losses, they're all by two plus runs, which tells me once a game goes, their bullpen's not bringing them back. They're not coming from behind. Um, we have, I'll just rattle through them, 7 3 8 2, 11 6, 6 2, 5 3, 11 0 3 1, um, 5 1 4 1. Then Yankees game was 3 to 2. That was the second game of the third game of the year, second loss of the year. First one was 4 to 1 loss. So only one game this season has been by um, a one run or less. So while I lay the one and a half with the, the Braves, I feel confident with that. I feel confident in the, the uh, Braves' home field advantage. I feel confident with Toussaint on the mound going against uh, uh, Sanchez, who struggled this year. And uh, I'll, I'll be laying that one and a half with the Braves as the best bet at a plus 120 uh, dog. So uh, get that money while you can. Uh, get that plus money while you can. And uh, check out my other picks, patreon.com slash Farley. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you again soon.